Although students will recognize Dorothea Lange's migrant mother photo from their textbooks, many will be surprised to learn that the federal government hired Lange to build support for its programs. Consideration of the context surrounding a photo, or any piece of evidence, helps students develop a nuanced understanding of the past. But too often, such information is omitted from history textbooks. Instead, textbooks tend to present history as static and uncontested, depriving students of the multitude of voices that enliven the past. To help students see their textbook as a historical source, not the final word, we developed a type of lesson called Opening Up the Textbook, or OUT. The starting place for all outs is the resource most readily available to teachers, the textbook. Outs provide students with additional source material, sometimes primary, sometimes secondary, to contest, complicate, expand, or vivify the textbook narrative. Instead of dismissing the textbook, outs ask students to compare it to other historical sources. An out teaches students that history requires the analysis and synthesis of multiple sources, not the reliance on a single source. Outs that contest use primary sources to challenge the facts of the textbook or offer competing interpretations. Outs that complicate provide students with evidence that disturbs the textbook's tidy narrative or reveals alternative interpretations. Outs that expand address silences in the text. Who is absent from the narrative? What issues have been ignored? Outs that vivify use the voices of historical actors to breathe life into the textbook's prose. They use documents to restore the emotion, the feeling, the excitement of the past. By opening up the textbook, students gain a fuller understanding of the discipline of history and become more critical consumers of the information they encounter in the digital age.